Good day, our beloved brothers and sisters, as each new day dawns. May you awaken to the gentle touch of Jesus Christ's divine grace and boundless benevolence, guiding your steps and illuminating your path with his eternal light. May the blessings of God accompany you not only in the morning, but throughout the entirety of the day, filling every moment with his infinite love and providence. In a recent communication addressed to Catholics worldwide, Pope Francis urgently conveyed revelations regarding an imminent threat to the sanctity of the Church with solemn gravity. The pontiff alerted believers to the existence of a perilous individual whose nefarious intentions posed a grave risk to the very fabric of faith. The message disseminated through Vatican News underscores the urgency of the situation, emphasizing the potential for widespread devastation Give this ominous figure manifest. Catholics are implored to heed this warning with utmost seriousness, recognizing the imperative need for preparedness even within the sanctity of their own homes. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you Believe so, please type Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 16 18. Rejoice always, pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join and pray. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers, O Lord Almighty and everlasting. In your boundless mercy and grace, I humbly come before you in prayer. You are the source of all goodness and the giver of every blessing. Grant me, I pray, the strength to face the challenges of life with courage and perseverance. Guide my steps, O Lord, along the path of righteousness, that I may walk in your ways and live according to your will. Fill my heart with your love and compassion, that I may show kindness and mercy to all your children. Lord, in your infinite wisdom, grant me wisdom and discernment, that I may make choices that are pleasing to you. Help me to trust in your providence and to surrender myself entirely to your divine plan for my life. The urgency of Pope Francis's message serves as a poignant call to action, urging believers to fortify their spiritual defenses and remain vigilant against the encroaching threats to the Church's sacred institution. Pope Francis recently recounted an unusual and striking dream he experienced involving St. Michael, wherein he envisioned the looming threat of a dangerous individual capable of wreaking havoc upon the sacred institutions of the Church. In this vivid dream, the pontiff was confronted with the alarming prospect of the swift destruction of churches, and even the revered Vatican itself, all within a mere span of 15 minutes. This gripping revelation serves as a poignant reminder of the ongoing spiritual battles faced by the faithful, prompting a call to heightened vigilance and preparedness in the face of potential threats to the sanctity of the Church. In a solemn declaration echoed throughout the Catholic community, it has been emphasized that all adherents must diligently ready themselves and maintain a safe distance from individuals who exhibit a profound absence of faith and love for God. These individuals are depicted as fervent worshippers of Satan meticulously adhering to every sinister directive issued by the devil himself. They systematically purge themselves of any divine love and blessings bestowed upon them by God, obstinately rejecting such grace. Cautionary words have been issued to remain vigilant, as these individuals may be lurking among one's acquaintances and could potentially infiltrate one's home in a matter of days. Thus, an urgent call to spiritual fortification and discernment resonates through the community, urging all Catholics to fortify their defenses against the encroaching darkness 
and remain steadfast in their devotion to God, the day that those people will enter your life will be a gloomy day. As the days pass, the townsfolk will grow increasingly apprehensive, casting weary glances at their neighbors and acquaintances, wondering who among them could be harboring such malevolent intentions. Rumors will swell like mist in the early morning, painting portraits of shadowy figures lurking in the darkness, waiting to pounce upon unsuspecting souls as the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape. The Garcia family will gather in prayer, seeking strength and protection from the looming threat. Their home will be adorned with crucifixes and holy relics, serving as a fortress against the encroaching darkness. You simply want St. Michael to teach you about the boundless. Divine mercy, you do not want to believe or understand the call of God's will. The amount to which divine mercy has realized in a human being is only known by the Holy Trinity and this includes Our Lady and Mother of Divine Mercy, who serves as an intercession for all people. Fear not, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Remain steadfast in your ties to the Holy Trinity, our Queen and our Mother. Our Lady loves you, blesses you, and protects you. Matthew 16, 18, 19. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Matthew 16, 18, 19 is a significant passage in the New Testament, where Jesus confers a special role upon Peter, often interpreted within the Catholic tradition as, as the establishment of the papacy. In this passage, Jesus declares Peter as the rock upon which he will build his church, indicating Peter's foundational role in the early Christian community. The imagery of the gates of Hades, not prevailing against the church implies the ultimate victory of Christ over the forces of evil, assuring believers of the church's enduring presence and authority. Moreover, Jesus' promise to give Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven signifies the bestowal of authority and responsibility. This symbolic gesture suggests Peter's role as a steward of divine authority with the power to govern and guide with faithful love. Now let's join and pray. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou. O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us his graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.